Hello, welcome back to another Q&A session where I'm answering one of the questions that I got over on my Instagram. If you follow me there, when I put the box up in the stories, then you'll be able to ask your own questions as well. Um, and sometimes I make videos out of them like this. So I'm Carly Ann, holistic attachment coach and founder of Follow Your Fire, which is your online membership for all things attachment styles and rediscovering yourself. So the question I'm answering today, I know people say we are not too needy, but what about when I am being needy and it's true? So I guess what they mean by that is, yeah, there, there's lots of information and there's so much truth in it that you're not too needy. Do we have too many needs? We're human and we all have needs. What I always say to my clients, is it's not about the need itself. It's not about the content of your need. That is not too much. That is not too needy because it is just true for you. It's about how you communicate it and it's about how you go about getting that need met. So for example, some of those needs where we're expressing ourselves through a needy way, um, often we're turning to someone else or something outside of us when really, ideally, we would tend to that ourselves first. That's often missing. So we're going, not like to the wrong place, but we're going outside of ourselves first. The other thing is that we're communicating it. So when there, I work with attachment difficulties and when there's insecure attachment, the way that we communicate ourselves is often very indirectly it's through protest behaviors, it's through withdrawing, it's through demanding. And that's what happens with our needs is rather than expressing what it is that we need, if we know it, or saying what's going on for us, it comes out in a way that typically we might describe as like clingy or needy or too much of all of those things. So it's okay to have them. It's um, how you communicate them. So that's where I would be starting. I'd be starting with your experience with communicating and where are the difficulties in expressing yourself and owning what your needs are and combining that. Do you know what it is that you're really wanting, desiring and needing in those moments? And then how is it that you are expressing that out into the world? And how are you trying to deal with that and help yourself first? as well because that's often missing isn't it um so yeah so yeah it's not necessarily the um need itself we get lost on that it's how you're asking or going about getting it met i hope that's helpful if you have more questions like this feel free to put them in the comments um, perhaps i can get to them or create other videos if you want direct support on this you can either work with me one-to-one -one, or you can join the membership because there are spaces there inside follow your fire to get that kind of direct support um, plus not to mention the resources in there already on communication on communicating from that secure place um, that's more aligned with who you are so yeah you're enough you are lovable you are so so worthy and you're irreplaceable